Welcome to Tarot Tricks and my series of videos on the esoteric meanings of the playing cards in um, fortune telling. This round will be on the court cards, of course the aces, uh, the aces trump the court cards, king, and queen and jack, yet the joker can trump everything. In the tarot, the Joker is the beginning and the end of the journey. He is the the fool. The fool. The, the whole tarot is 78 cards of the journey of the fool. And the last card is, uh, well, it's the world. And then you start all over again as the fool. When I started this, I didn't know that the Joker also has an es esoteric, esoteric meaning. The Joker, fool or jester, is a mysterious figure. He's found in the tarot where his number is zero and symbolizes all the ending and beginnings that make up the intricate journey of life. He is truly a wild card and it is up to you whether you use him in your readings. If you use, do use him, only one Joker is necessary. Place it in the deck before shuffling and keep the other to the side. The Joker is essentially an unknown quantity. The Fool enjoyed a special place in the medieval courts, his humorous persona frequently masking a worldly wise individual. The saying, many a true word is spoken in jest, encapsulates his presence perfectly. The interpretation of the Fool when it appears in a, strip, in a spread, this enigmatic card heralds unexpected events and sudden inspirations. He brings in centricity and freedom to a reading um, and may foretell breathtaking coincidences which have the power to upturn an ordinary life. He is neither fortunate nor unfortunate. He, his, for his nature refuses to be defined. He represents, above all, the transformational spirit of anarchy and the impersonal forces of destiny. We are foolish to believe we can totally control our own or other people's lives, he says. Aces the Ace of Hearts represents the house of a true heart. It means happiness and prosperity of people living in the house. This card often stands for breakthrough in feelings, declaration of love or a wedding. For a married person, Ace of Hearts is an omen of abundance in the house and a happy family life. The Ace of Diamonds announces a letter or a message that you will receive soon. In a broader sense, it means that you will get a new insight into your life and your problems. The Ace of Diamonds could come as advice of a friend or a book or a vivid dream at night. It will give you a new perspective. The Ace of Clubs represents a large purse of money. Most people think it is the luckiest card of the whole deck. The Ace of Clubs is not just about purchasing power. It signifies the power of getting anything that you want. Indeed, this card is an omen of better health, happy relationships and a longer life. And the Ace of Spades means stocks, financial papers and good long-term investments. It is a sign that you have to strike a balance between accumulating health and having time to spend it. Ace of Spades is a very positive omen for your future, living in a happy marriage, traveling, hobbies, and gen more generally, living the life as you like. Now, you might wonder, what if the card is upside down like this? Ace of Spades. 
The diamonds, I don't think, is ever upside down. The clubs can be upside down and the hearts can be upside down. Unfortunately, I only have the upside down reading of the Ace of Spades at this moment. If I find out more, I will tell you. <clears throat> so generally, interpretation of the Ace of Spades is known for being baleful or sinister. And is in current, and certainly some basis for his reputation. It is essential meaning links it to the ancient concept of karma or destiny. However, certain things must come into being or pass away, for they are part of a larger pattern decreed by fate. In the ancient Greek worlds, the three fates, Atropos, Clotho, and Lachesis, answered to no one, but sat spinning the thread of destiny over which even the gods had no influence. Similarly, the Ace of Sp Spades cannot likely, likely be dismissed. It is the most positive manifestation. It promises worldly power and influence, but at a price. Generally, it augurs a challenging phase ahead. So this is the, no, it's not the reversal, it's the up, right up. It's not a good time to initiate any kind of legal battle, nor to expect a favorable outcome to any kind of dispute. If it's reversed, fundamentally the Ace of Spades reversed warns of negative thinking, depression, and legacy in the face of lethargy in the face of apparently unsurmountable obstacles. A serious reassessment of life is required if the damage is to be limited and curtailed. Unexpected difficulties and hidden enemies may surface at this time. Caution is advised in all things. This is a time of decay. However, do not worry. Decay is eventually followed by renewal and regeneration. So it could be like the death card. <laughs> the king's cards. Don't you just love this deck? The king of hearts is... Um, okay, he's got a sword... He's the only one with a sword. All the others have wands. Um, and he's holding the ball, the, the sphere, with a cross on top of the sphere. He's really the king. He's got a, a necklace around with a cross there. Looks like he's got the best crown. Maybe the king of spades has got a better crown. The King of Hearts card signifies personal qualities of honesty and spirituality. It represents a kind-hearted and fair man. His gentle temperament makes him a fine friend and an excellent partner. While passionate and amorous, the King of Hearts tends to be hasty with his feelings, especially in love. It sounds like a Gemini or a Quarian or a Libran. That's why it's got the sword there. Uh, King of Swords, eh? Hey? The King of Diamonds. Well, he looks a little bit younger. He's only holding one little... Maybe it's a dagger, eh? Hey? Looks like he's only one step up from a jack or baron. He doesn't look so fancy. He's only got one hand in the picture. All the others have got two hands in the picture. Um, and he doesn't have the, I don't know what you call it, you know the white and black speckles of the fur around his... He doesn't have that. The King of Diamonds represents a blonde man, self-important, haughty, fearsome, deceitful. In a word, a bad man. <laughs> he 
He is quick to anger, determined and revengeful. This card often signifies a man in a dangerous occupation. In spite of his flaws, many women find the King of Diamonds very attractive. The King of Clubs, well, maybe he is the oldest, oh, I don't know. He's holding a shield and he's also holding like some type of wand mitre, whatever you call it. Not a full beard, just a little goatee going on there. And he has a collar, like the King of Hearts has a collar. The King of Diamonds doesn't have a collar and the King of Spades doesn't have a collar. Well, a foldable collar. The King of Clubs represents a dark man. He's a loyal and kind. He is a good businessman, shrewd with money and investments, but isn't selfish. In fact, the King of Clubs is a very devoted father. Wow. Husband and citizen. In a broader sense, the King of Clubs encompasses idealized qualities of a fatherly figure. This card is universally considered as a very good omen. Nice, King of Clubs, we'll remember you. King of Hearts, King of Clubs, we like them. King of Spades, well, he looks pretty good. Doesn't have the collar, but he's holding some sort of shield as well. And a mitre. And he's got a good... Full beard is pretty hairy, this one, hey? What does the King of Spades indicates? It indicates a man of bad faith. He's a predator who seeks to use you for his own ends. This card often indicates a love affair with a wrong man. Even though you know that the king of spades is a bad for you, you still want him. Do not despair. You have the strength to resist him. Just say no. All the queens out there. Ah, uh, do declare, these ladies do look with their locks, this 18th century, hey, 19th century, the queen of hearts, she's got rubies, three rubies around her necks, neck there, sort of has, she's the prettiest out of the bunch, fairy hair, and she's got a rose in her hand, the queen of hearts, represents sincere woman, loving woman of a tender heart. For a man, this card means his sweetheart lover, or a woman he will marry. For a woman, she signifies a sincere friend or a nearest relative. More generally, the Queen of Hearts evokes the feelings of unconditional and caring love. The Queen of Diamonds. We see she's got, they all got off the shoulder numbers here. She's got a uh, hibiscus, looks like it, in her hand. Pearls in the hair. Oh yes, the Queen of Hearts had also roses in her hair. Purple rose, right? Queen of Diamonds, well, she's got two hands up. All, all the queens, except for the Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs and Queen... Oh! No. She's the only one with two arms showing. <laughs> but only one... One hand in the picture. Okay. Why did I do that? Queen of Diamonds. She's got longer hair. She's got daisies in her hair and pearls there. She's haughty. She's jealous. Oh, she's like the King of Diamonds. Haughty, jealous and promiscuous woman. The Queen of Diamonds represents isolated. Your enemy She is very talkative and a skilled manipulator of men who easily fall for her charms. 
In a love reading, the Queen of Diamonds is a warning sign that somebody wants to steal your lover or your spouse. The Queen of Clubs. Well, she looks quite nice. She's a brunette. Hey, she's got a day. Notice there's a sunflower in her hand. Just not as extravagant looking. Some greenery and yellow headrest. A little bit like uh, Leila, Princess Leia in, in Star Wars. The Queen of Clubs signifies a brunette woman who is well behaved, very spiritual and who loves to be of service. She is of a warm, tender and sympathetic nature. Most men would love to marry a woman like the Queen of Clubs. Most women are jealous of her and see her as a dangerous rival. And the Queen of Spades, she looks a little bit more naive. She's got like, I don't know, it looks like a thistle in her hand or, or maybe a belladonna. Just a little ruby and a ribbon in her hair. My goodness. The Queen of Spades signifies distrust and prejudice. This indicates your enemy. A nasty woman who is jealous of you. She will slander you and will try to poison your relationships with other people. Sometimes the Queen of Spades is a symbol of for a white woman who is in a relationship with a black man. Sometimes. Last and not least, the Jacks. Of course, the hearts. Or the trumps. This Jack has got an axe there. He's got an axe to grind, maybe. He's pointing his finger. He's got two hands. Two hands in the picture, you see? Two hands. He's got gloves on. Oh, the Jack of Clubs also got two hands. But the Jack of Queens, or the Baron of, of Diamonds, only one hand. Oh, and the Jack of Spades got two hands. These all have meanings, my friends. <laughs> Depends on what your feelings. The Jack of Hearts signifies an honest young man in love. He is attractive, nice and generous and would like to be kind to you. This card often announces a new intimate friendship. As a lover, the Jack of Hearts is often away but is committed and sincere and would be a good marriage material. Wow. Hard-working man there. Baron of Diamonds, or the Jack of Diamonds, you see him there. He's got a brown fur skin. Must be mink. He has a collar, but this guy's got like a buff, hey? See the difference in the collars? It's more of a working man, this one. I mean, look at his... his I think it's... I don't know. He worked so hard, it's been bitten off. <laughs> Looks like a mouth bite. The Jack of Diamonds isolated. The Jack of Diamonds represents a messenger. This card also symbolizes an unfaithful assistant or employee. The Jack of Diamonds is a young man who comes and goes and takes more than is allowed. This card is a sign that you will be dealing with an intelligent man who is very untrustworthy. 